Hey there fellow hunters and welcome to my latest guide. I'm Fyth and today I will be taking you through the environment of Bloodborne showcasing the locations of bell ringing women that ring their sinister bells and enable other players to invade your worlds and initiate adversary play. Now I am all for PvP but I know that sometimes this is not what a person might want to do, they might just want to be on their way getting an item or getting through a dungeon and eliminating the threat of invasion during those sessions is essential so first and foremost excluding Yahargul in the second phase under the red moon the nightmare of menses and the nightmare frontier every other area is safe to trek unless you summon help in the form of a co-partner so if you are confident in your abilities to play the game and you do not want to be in danger of getting invaded just don't call for help don't use the big beckoning bell do an area yourself go through it and there is no risk of invasion whatsoever for the other three areas that i mentioned you will have to kill the bell ringing maidens anyway until you kill the boss if you kill the boss of the area they will start spawning and you will be safe excluding the Yahargul and Sin village in its second phase where the bell ringers will still spawn after you kill the boss but they will be only reviving enemy NPCs not summoning invaders so you ring the big beckoning bell you invite someone in your game to help you and you initiate the appearance of the bell ringer i will be taking you from the lamp directly to her location in case i've already killed her or i've already killed the boss of a dungeon and i cannot show her to you physically i will put an x like x marks the spot for all the players it's a reference and uh, you will be able to get her exact location you go there you eliminate her and there is no risk of invasion from that point onward as i said excluding yahar and sin village and the two nightmare areas nightmare frontier and mensis so without further ado let's get on with the actual guide
In Kanehurst, the location of the bell ringer is actually after you open the first shortcut, this elevator. So I'm leading you through the shortcut to save some time. As you exit, you should be going on the left. Avoid the darts from the dwarf up there. Take a left here and left again and as you're sprinting take a leap on this bookcase and fall to its left side. This will allow you to pull this lever that will lower the ladder you see in front of me enabling access to the upper parts of the dungeon. The bell ringer is right before Martin Logarius. Okay, in this part I want to walk you through a bit. You go from the lamp to the first shortcut of the dungeon. The bell ringer is after you activate this shortcut. As it was in Kane here, so you don't have to know how to reach here from the initial lamp because you will have gone through here anyway. So, you get the shortcut, go through the snake guy. back over the stone bridge up there there's another snake guy you might want to take him out just to be safe whilst looking for your bell ringer if you were approaching the dungeon from the side of the initial approach without having opening the shortcut. This is the cannon guy that used to bomb the corridor you were running through. So if you came from here, you re-enter the mill as shown in the footage. Go to the left. Go through this door, the only door on the second floor fall down from here just to be safe kill the half beast climb up this ladder just go through here over the gears and the maiden will be sliding here over this corpse and very very close to the cannon location In Yahargul you can approach these maidens in various orders, but I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. I will go at them the same manner that I track the dungeon each time. So here is the first one. They actually regenerate the NPC, so it's a very good idea to take them out as soon as possible.
here I'm continuing right after the maiden. You take two steps forward and one step to the right. And you go down the stairs here and fall two stories down into this hidden chamber. To your right there is a facho. Have to be careful because as long as the maidens are alive, they're very resilient. You got me there. And there is the maiden. Here I am continuing from the second lamp, the Yahar Gul Chapel. This is the best approach I could find because you land on this gunner, take him out in surprise attack, kill the tags here, and then down into your left is the maiden. As you exit the Yahargul Chapel here to your left, you go up the staircase, take down the gunner here, quickly move ahead before he is revived, and this is the last maiden for this chapter. Move on to the next vid in the description and on your display to find the rest of the Bellringers.